Okay, so we have to get a lot of questions on breeding Bangai Cardinals in a home aquarium and actually it's a lot more straightforward than you'd think. So first of all, they're mouth brooders, so they will pair, they will lay the eggs and the males will brood them in the mouth for a period of 21 days or so. Now during that time, at first the eggs will be quite big in the mouth, so you'll see quite a big bulge on the male which will show he's carrying eggs. By about day three, those eggs will hatch and the bulb will go considerably smaller as the eggs disappear and are replaced with small fry. Over the next 18 days or so, those fry will then get steadily larger and eventually, when he carries them to full turn, he will spit them out as tiny five piece sized babies. Now, it takes quite a while for the male to get the hang of this because during those 21 days he can't feed. So to start with, they'll often eat the eggs straight away or the eggs upon hatching and expect it to take up to about six months for the males to get the hang of spawning and holding them all along. Once you get to the point where babies are spat out, the good news is that you can rear them quite easily in a little breeding trap or a separate tank on newly hatched brine shrimp to start with and then you can slowly wean them onto frozen foods such as frozen cyclops and things like that. It's very important in the rearing tank that you keep the bottom of the tank very clean so you don't get bacterial problems of uneaten food because the bangos won't take food off the bottom and it's difficult to put much clean up crew in there to help you out. If you are reading them in a separate tank, then a little tub of sand in one corner with some Nisera snails in it will be a big help to you. But once the fry get to a reasonable size, you're probably better off trying to rear them in a net in the main aquarium. Whereas at least then you don't have to worry about water quality issues, just work out the best way of feeding them. Bangos will typically produce up to about 20 young, sometimes a little more, once a month or so. So you can get quite a large number of them. But it takes a lot of time and practice to get large numbers of them through. The good news is they are quite saleable when you get them through, so you should have no trouble rehoming the babies, enormous endless supply. Also consider breeding other species of cardinal as well. Blue eye ghost cardinals and pajama cardinals are usually a lot more docile and easier to spawn in the first place. Similar rearing habits and similar saleability at the end result. Thank you and check out our other videos for other reef keeping tips.